Oh. 50 years ago, at midnight tonight, a law came into force which tried to silence the pirate radio stations. They were anchored off the Essex coast, playing, of course, the music that young people at the time wanted to hear. They didn't know it at the time, but DJs like Johnny Walker and Tony Blackburn would soon find a new career at newly created Radio 1. Today, to mark the anniversary, our colleagues at BBC Essex have been taking a trip down memory lane. In the 1960s, the BBC played hardly any pop and commercial stations were banned. To get around this, stations like Radio Caroline exploited a loophole by operating off ships instead. I remember going out from Harwich and seeing this little boat floating around and I thought, this is going to alter the whole of broadcasting in this country. But at midnight 50 years ago today, the Marine Broadcasting Offences Law made it illegal to work or supply these ships. Many folded, but Radio Caroline just moved further out to sea. It was so anticlimactic. The sea was very calm. It was deserted. The Radio London ship had gone. There was nothing. And then a voice from the ocean saying, hello there. And I look over and there's a fellow in a tiny little dinghy, minuscule outboard motor on. He goes, do you want anything from the shops? <laughs> To mark this moment, pirate BBC Essex today took to the water and the airwaves. Welcome aboard the Ross Revenge. This is the Radio Caroline ship. It's a glorious ship on a glorious day on a fabulous River Blackwater. Just lovely. And we're ready for a whole day of broadcasting here on pirate BBC Essex and Radio Caroline. On board and back on air, famous voices from the time. Can you imagine playing this? on the ship and it's going up and down and this is the piece of music that brings it all back to me, this rebel. <laughs> and amongst the memories and music, a moment to remember a colleague, former pirate DJ Dave Cash, his ashes scattered just as he desired. Jenny Kirk, BBC Look East.